Morning everybody, what up? It's your boy Martin Moreno, aka The Boxing Purist. Welcome to the Truth and Absolute Boxing Channel where we speak the truth and nothing but the truth, so help me, Lord Almighty. Now y'all, big, big news for the boxing world right now. As most of y'all probably already seen, it looks like it's a done deal for April 30th, man, in the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's uh, Newark, New Jersey's very own Shakur Stevenson fighting Tucson, Arizona's very own Oscar Valdez. Now, this is a great fight, man. First of all, big ups to both of these cats for taking this fight because this is exactly the fights that need to happen in boxing. The best need to fight each other. You got Oscar Valdez. I believe he's 20-0. and 0. Well, he lost his last fight. Let's be real about it. He, he got a huge homecoming present the last fight. The kid is tough as nails, all that. But he did lose his last fight. Let's keep it real. Then you got my man Shakur Stevenson. Um, I believe he's what? Uh, I looked. I believe he's 16 and 0 or something like that. But the kid is a game fighter. He's ready to fight anyone. And he's a good fighter too. The kid could box. So this is a really good matchup, y'all. Really, really good matchup because you got two hungry lions pretty much you got oscar valdez you know he had a little bit of controversy with the last fight uh he dropped dirty he was allowed to fight and i mean that's I, personally i would want to come and redeem myself i take all kinds of tests listen i'm not doping this time and i try to make a statement win um that's just what i think though i don't know what's running through the kid's mind then you got shakur stevenson who's just ready to climb the charts man i've been seen Stevenson for a long time now and um he, he's just ready for that fight that's going to take him to you know the next step in his career and I mean shoot what a better fight to do it than you know Oscar Valdez so that's an exciting fight man it looks like again uh, April 30th um it looks like it's going to be on ESPN I'm assuming ESPN plus um so big up to uh top rank and Bob, uh, Bob Arum for making that fight which is good so um I don't know man I, I see a good fight I see an entertaining fight coming out. Um, I predict that Stevenson will come out with the nod. I think Stevenson is the better boxer. Um, he's good defensively as well. He got a little bit of pop to him. You got Oscar Valdez, man, who's a who's a little uh, a little pit bull, man. The kid likes to fight. He's tough as nails. He has grit. He has heart. Just the only thing is, is like, will he be able to drag Stevenson into a dog fight? Because in my personal opinion, the only chance that Oscar Valdez has in this fight is to turn it into an ugly brawl. You know, you have to do that against, you know, great, great boxers um, to get the nod sometimes. And even then, sometimes it's not enough, man. It, the better boxer is always going to win the fight. But again, it always comes down to how they perform that night leading up to the fight, the preparation and all that stuff. So, man, it's an exciting fight. And again, man, big ups to both fighters for taking these fights, man. We got too many weight classes where these guys protect their dang O and it hurts the sport of boxing, you know? It hurts the sport of boxing. So big up to these two guys for making that happen. Um, I read an article. I don't know how true it is, man. I was reading some of the articles on this website and... I'll go ahead and say the name, man. Boxing News 24-7 or something like that. Dang. Yo, listen. You can't be trying to cover sports, cover fights, and be biased. You know what I'm saying? You got to speak the truth. Even if it's your favorite fighter, you have to speak the truth. You can't bash other fighters and build your fighter up just because you're a fan of him, yo. And that website, man, I read an article about Canelo and Jomel Charlo. Yeah, it made me laugh. It made me laugh quite a bit and a couple of other articles as well. So, but that's why I read this one. But it, it sounds Ryan Garcia like. <laughs> so, uh, um, I read an article of Ryan saying that George Cambosos should fight him next. And then the reasons he gave is because he's been on the layoff. Pretty much saying that it'd be a big fight for Cambosos and it should be a small risk because Ryan hasn't fought in a while and because he's been fighting nothing but freaking. What's he doing? He's hitting people with hella body suits, hitting them in the stomach for Instagram. I'm sure that's how he broke his hand, by the way. I mean, God forgive me for making an assumption, but I see this kid beating up all kinds of freaking pads and stuff. It's like, fool, you done punched somebody in the stomach and broke your hand just for freaking views on Instagram. But whatever, man, it's his life. Anyhow, Ryan, no, you do not deserve that fight yet. Ryan, get back in the ring. Start fighting. You're wasting your talent. You know what I'm saying? I went out on a limb and said Ryan cleans out the 135 division. I'm not huge on the kid. 
I'm just looking at what he brings to this table, the style that he has, and his biggest assets and his tools. I believe he cleans out 135, but the kid's probably going to prove me wrong or not fight or, I don't know, something. <laughs> anyway, y'all, so let me know what y'all think, man, um, about the Stevenson Valdez fight. I'm sure the boxing world, if you're a boxing fan, I know you're excited for this one. Let me know what you guys think, how it's going to play out. Give me your predictions, man. Hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Y'all have a great day. God bless. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.